time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Friday, September 20th. Hope everybody's having a good day. S&P down 29, NASDAQ down 128, Russell down 19, Dow down 103, gold up over 1%, silver tiny green, notes and bonds a little bit green, 10-year yield down a little under half percent, oil pretty flat, natty gas up over 4%. Soybeans flat, corn down 1%, wheat up about three quarters of a percent, euro flat, pound up about a quarter percent, Bitcoin a little bit red, VIX up 1.29%, sitting at 16.54. I just posted a early Wooga and an OG Wooga, so I'm in both of those. Uh, I haven't done any traditional... Price action TLC style trades because I've been testing kind of a combination of a TLC BIC style with Trade Steward, and I had some issues with that, but um, I think I got it figured out. So just kind of testing that today. Um, and then my main focus was on some of my day trades that I was in just until about. 30, 40 minutes ago, booked a little over 4,400 on my day trades. And what else? My BIX. So I've got uh, my first tranche got stopped on one side. My 915s are still alive. My uh, And then the others got stopped on one side. And then my 110 is still Alive with no stop. So up about 769 on those at this point. Other than that, I think that is about it for me. Chad, how's your day? Yeah, not too bad here. Been pretty good price movement for TLC. Um, let's see here. My AM number one. I booked 20%. And then I and then I let it just uh I had such a wide, my shorts were so, so wide that um, I let it kind of cook for a while. I ended up taking off, uh, I skipped my 40%, just lowered the profit target to 60, lowered the stop, and ended up taking um, 60, uh, 60%, where I normally would take 40 and then uh, shed the rest at 80%. So a nice winner on that first one. My lunchtime number one, I booked twenty percent, and then I was ten cents away from getting out of forty percent, and had that sharp little down move, and uh, flushed me out, stopped me out. So um, got sixty five cents for the puts, and that made it a, a positive trade. But uh, it's just kind of unfortunate there that it stopped me out there when I was so close to four, uh, just a, a dime away from 40 booking 40 percent then I would have had just two contracts left but and then power hour one I am out of 20 percent and as I see price pushing up um God let's see I've still got quite I've got about a dollar to get to 40 percent it's gonna need to come back down and I'm in I'm in those woogas which now need down moves as well. Getting a little bouncy off yesterday's lows. Did you say you just finished up your day trading just a little bit ago? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of turned it a little I, bit longer I than caught, the first I hour. caught some monsters in Meta and Coinbase. Ah. So I was just letting them run until... 
I got it. I got out of Coinbase almost at the tippy top. Uh, Meta, I gave a little bit back. Uh, and then had a couple other winners. My my winner, uh, my NVIDIA was a winner this morning. Uh, AMD was a small winner. Microsoft, small loser. I had uh, I'd posted as the market started kind of coming down later the, later in the morning. I was looking at several stocks because if they flushed kind of some key levels and then bounced, I mentioned I was going to be getting long. And so that's what I did. I got long meta after it flushed the overnight lows and bounced. I got um, I actually didn't get long coin after it bounced above its lows. I waited for it to go green. And then when it pulled back to uh, yesterday's close, I got long and caught that big, big run up there. Yeah, my FedEx thought might be able to win, but it got too weak. So I'm just going to let it Yikes. Let it expire for a tiny profit. Fifteen point move up in about ten minutes. Fifteen minutes. Yeah, I, uh, I did the bearish one that I posted yesterday, Chess Master, but I wasn't bearish enough for it to hit inside my peak, so I'll just get a minimum profit. Yeah, premiums are slim. Not much meat on the bone. Yeah, premiums are getting a little thin. I had one of my biggest slippages today on IB slash TAT on one of my sides. Let's see. Yeah, this one here. My put side... I got stopped at 790 and my stop was at 570. So $2.20 slip on that one. Um my average has been about 30 30 cents. I've had I've had some over a dollar, but I've had some positive slippages. Today was that one was pretty bad. I haven't seen one like that before. I had a actually I had a ninety cent one as well. The all, all the others were like ten cents. Also, I'm using single bid and on the shorts only. So I'm not sure which setting you are using on that. Yeah, I go shorts only. That's help. That's definitely helped. Yeah, and double bids. No, no bueno either. I found I was doing. The spreads and double bid at first. Now I'm doing single bid, shorts only, and it's definitely helped.
Sweet spot for my two Wugas would between would, would be between 85 and 90. So it it automatically I have it set so it automatically reuses my longs. Or I will yeah, manually close them and or let them expire. Yeah, I'm interested to see about that as well, Morrow. Well, SPX. Cut a nice bounce off yesterday's low here. Same with NDX. Gold up over 1%. That's helping my bullish VRR. I'm not sure what you mean discount. How would it help you predict potential daily P&L? I mean, I don't I don't I've never used it to predict anything. It's just more of just a visual reference. VIX coming down hard on this bounce. Apple back up close to highs of day. Meta getting close to highs of day, which is also all-time highs. GME up 11% today. CrowdStrike up six and a half. SMCI, SMCI up two and a half. Apple up one. Meta up about three quarters. FedEx, the biggest red after earnings. Plug and G, uh, DJT down. Lulu down over 3%. Tesla down two. Uber down two. NVIDIA down one and a half. Boeing down one. Back down to 90 would be ideal for Wooga. And I ended up putting on a power hour number two because my one was off center. So I posted that. 
I'll start putting on my double calendars here shortly. Next week, as far as economic reports, Monday, flash services and manufacturing PMI about 15 minutes after the market opens. A couple of Fed speakers. Tuesday, consumer confidence, 30 minutes after the market opens. Wednesday, new home sales. Thursday, unemployment and final GDP pre-market. And then Powell speaks 10 minutes before the market opens. And then there's several other, a couple other Fed speakers at noon. And then Friday, pre-market core PCE price index. Posted my five seven. Getting a little pullback here. It's because I opened up a blow pop. Blow pop time. Yeah, I put it in right before the sky. I said, this, I was thinking my Wuga needs some down movement. It's time to open a blow pop. Instantly down. Uh, it's it's not necessarily that I am trying to go smaller on the four or five tomorrow. It's more just as far as my total pot of allocation. I'm putting more on the others. Where my longs are on the uh, six and seven day.
Okay, there we go. All right, so next up, six, seven. There's 40% on my power hour number one. Next calendar I'll be looking at is the four seven. Just posted my six seven. There's twenty percent of my power hour number two. That's that's a big one right there. Guarantee I won't have a full stop. VIX continuing to contract.
four seven just posted. Wooga needs a move down still. Now, it wasn't long ago you thought, I thought maybe this was coming down to lows of day. I just got stopped on my power hour number one, my last two contracts. So that was a 40% and out. I just got stopped on one of my call sides. SPX fifty seven hundred. Next up will be my three six. SPX climbing. Whoa. Getting a little bouncy. Yeah. This might get ugly. The Lawugas. Never count the Wooga out. Stopped on my power hour number two after 20%.
All right, three six just posted. Get a little reversal. A little pullback after that push. Come on back down. Come on back down into the 90s. So it looks like on my BIX, I still can be green. If we don't uh, do anything crazy here. I just got stopped out on the call side, 10 cent positive slippage. So I'm not, yeah, I'm out of, I closed out my longs and everything there. So I'm out of all my TLC trades. Just noticed 11 winners, one loser this week. 12 total mm -hmm. trades. On FOMC week. Very nice. Wow. Today, plus $4,755 on four trades. Nice way to end the week. Two power hour trades. Fifteen thousand six hundred seventy for the week on TLC trades. It's like the four or five is trading for about a buck thirty credit. I'll do my normal five on that one. Since Morrow yelled at me for trying to go small on it. Oops. I didn't get filled yet. I accidentally just posted. So this week, uh, see my AM Iron Condors booked 5,455. My lunchtime booked 5,150. 
and my power hour booked 5,065. Pretty even. Equal opportunity, TLCs. I need a big down move, like 20 points. P coming up to highs of day, but there's a there's a lot of stocks that aren't even close to highs of day. All right, post my three fives. All I've got left is the three seven. All right, just posted my three seven.
All right. Done with calendars. Now I can focus on SPX moving down for Wooga. Need to get back in the 90s. About 20, a little over 25 minutes to go. O five butterfly trading for about a buck. Apple through highs of day. Yeah, Apple's rocking. That's what I was looking for earlier, but it shook me out. NASDAQ wants to go green, I think. S&P and NASDAQ both down about a quarter percent. My three seven, I just put on's up over four percent. That was the last one I put on. Five sevens up about three percent, six sevens up about three percent. A 
SPX still grinding higher. I need SPX to stay below 10 for my BIX. One of my calls is getting ready to get stopped if we keep pushing. Yikes. Yeah, not a good day for Wooga. Yowzers. Going to all time highs. Should have maybe left some calls open. My iron condors. All time highs are at 33. We're at 13. Twenty minutes to go. Ten butterfly still trading for a little under a buck. Been a while since I've had a had a wooger this big of a loser. This. I mean, it needs a 20 point move down. I mean, down to 90. Maybe we'll get a sell off at the end of the day. SPX and NDX both hit unchanged. Both ticked into the green for a second but let's see if uh see if it's gonna hold apple's still going up i can't imagine it coming back down if it's apple's pushing up Meta approaching highs of day, all time highs. Nvidia is bouncing. Butterflies staying cheap with this range. It's going to have to calm down if we want Mahomes to come out and play.
So I had one double stop. Now I had two double stops on my Bix. So it's going to be a red day on the Bix. SPX going green, NDX going green. Going to need a big MOC cell number for Wuga to work out. <laughs> MOC in about five minutes. Like about 10 billion sell side. Yeah, that'd work. <laughs> well, NDX, SPX back in the red. Get ready to boost this. Get ready for my homes. A little sell off. We need a large sell off, not a little one. Butterfly is still under a dollar with this movement. Mahomes may not be coming out to play today. If we get down to into Wuga winning territory, we're definitely not going to get filled on Mahomes. I would take that though.
below 56.98 would win for Wuga. It's only 10 points. All right, MOC in 10 seconds. Five point three billion sell side. Woohoo, let's go. <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it, Wooga. Not getting my hopes up here. I am. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure it's a guaranteed winner. <laughs> it's been a while since we had that big a number, right? Yeah, I think the last day of August was the last big one. Come on, keep on coming. You gotta you gotta sell off on that news. Mr. SPX. Meta took a big dip. Apple took a big dip. NVIDIA took a big dip. Let's keep dipping. Normal distribution. We do speed increase. Yeah, keep on coming down. It's not enough of a sell off for five point three billion. I'm working the O fives and the tens from homes. Yeah, let's get filled on our Mahomes and then we can just drop like a rock by about 10 points. Ooh, Amazon spiking up. Amazon just spiked up through highs of day after that came out. Microsoft still dropping. Meta dropping. Apple's kind of 
popping back up. Apple's kind of acting like SPX. About five and a half minutes to go. I'm working the fives and tens right in between strikes. Five minutes. Working the OOs. fives look like they're getting close to filling possibly if we bounced up a little bit O two Go, baby, go. Oh, look at Apple. Oh, yeah, Apple coming down. There we go. I like Let's it. Down to 90, down to 90. Build on the O5s, my bot. Build on the OOs. Starting to fill on the OOs. Partial. Build on the OOs. My bot filled on the O fives. Oh, partial. Only two of five filled. All right, let's get down to 90. Call it good. A minute and a half. Yeah, 90 would make my Wugo a winner. Apple still dropping. Amazon still climbing. One minute. Not going to do it.
Apple through lows of day. Look at that. Wow. Thirty seconds. OG Wooga is still going to be a max loss. Ten seconds. We're down to fifty. Need it down to fifty six ninety five. And there's the bell. Little markdown after the close. So Mahomes is going to be a little bit of a loser. Wooga is going to be a loser, but not a max. That was interesting. How uh, my OG, my OG was a max. My nineties, eighty fives. By two points. And Holmes almost got out of the valley, but it's going to be a little loser on the OOs. And then my, my bot on the O5s is going to be a tiny loser. All right. <laughs> Good week overall, my friends. Live stream next week. Chad will be streaming live in the morning at the open for Mighty 90 and Runners. Back for Power Hour in the afternoon. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night. Cheers.